Here's everything that you need to know about the PLP internal election. So every single year, the PLP will host delegates conferences where meetings are held. And every four years, delegates and MPs have the opportunity to choose new leadership for the Progressive Labour Party, if anyone decides to challenge for that leadership. Remember, this is an internal election, not a general election. So this only has to do with the members of the Progressive Labour Party. In September, MP Dickinson put his hat in the ring to challenge Premier David Burt for leadership of the PLP, and MP Ming challenged Deputy Rebain for deputy leadership of the PLP. Now, a reason why this internal election was so wildly focused on throughout the island is because whoever was to have win these seats would either remain premier or become premier or remain deputy or become deputy of Bermuda. And the reason why that could have happened is because PLP is currently holding the government seat in Bermuda. Their internal election would, yes, be an outcome for the general public. So leading up to the internal election, there were debates. MP Ming debated Deputy Rebain, and MP Dickinson debated Premier David Burt. The deputy debate went off instantly, and it was fine, and it was done. However, for the leadership debate, one time it had to be canceled for logistical reasons, and then they finally had it. Now, another significant thing that did happen as well was the PLP party had to release information about when everyone received their delegates conference list because there was some speculation over someone getting it before another. And they want to be clear that everything was very much so fair throughout the internal election process. So obviously at this point, a lot of people are talking about this internal election. A lot of people are giving their own you know, perspectives and opinions on who they believe should be winning this internal election. Everyone very much so favored MP Dickinson for winning the internal election. But again, I stress it's an internal election, which means everything has to do with the PLP party. It does not have to do with the entire general public of Bermuda. Bermuda follows a West minister system and democracy and it's held within the PLP party. Yes, the outcome will affect everyone on the island, but again, it's the PLP internal election. Okay, so on October 19th, the day before the actual internal election, the Progressive Labour Party hosted a delegates conference opening night, and they had a lot of local performers there, a lot of MPs got to do a lot of speeches, and they also had the Prime Minister of Bahamas in attendance. And significantly on that night, Premier David Byrd had the opportunity to do a speech and address all the delegates, the MPs, and all the members of the public who decided that they wanted to be there or stream the event live. In Prima David Burt's lengthy speech, he went on to talk about many of the things that he believes were accomplishments of the PLP during his reign of Premier. And he also took the time to address this WhatsApp message that was floating around about Gen Com and the Fair of Hampton Princess, which was because of an article that was printed by a Gazette reporter, Sean Connolly, about quoting saying that the Prima David Burt said that a deal was signed for Gen Com. Now, the Prima did take the opportunity to address this article. Now, why do I talk about a WhatsApp forward? Because I think it was the gentleman in the back, Sean Connolly, wrote a story on Monday, and the headline says, Fairmont Southampton deal sign. And I remember it came up online, and I wrote the editor of the role, because I was like, Mr. Editor, it was late. I'm like, Mr. Editor, I'm a little bit concerned about this story, because I explained, we signed the heads of terms, we're going through the closing documentation, funding has been confirmed, and we're going through it. But the latest WhatsApp forward today is that, you know, people from Fairmont Southampton say the deal's not signed. The heads of terms has been signed. The deal is progressing to closing. There's a whole lot of teams of lawyers working through that closing process. And I have complete confidence that that deal will close because we must deliver those jobs and the return of tourism to this country. And although he was in attendance, MP Dickinson did not speak that night. And remember, this is the night before the actual internal election. Early the next morning, MP Dickinson actually released a 15-minute video on YouTube, and he captioned it saying that because he was told that he was not going to have an opportunity to speak to any of the delegates and MPs in attendance before they actually had a chance to vote. So he released a 15-minute video, and here's a small portion of that clip. I do not exaggerate when I say we are on the brink. My political colleague and competitor would have you believe that the way to get out of this problem is to give away 125 million of Bermuda's dollars to overseas developers. This is a dangerous gamble. We all want to see the Fairmont Southampton reopened and restored. Bermudians want to work. 
not be given handouts. And it is a critical component of our tourism industry. But those who refuse to learn from the OBA failure of Morgan's Point are doomed to repeat it at Southampton Princess. And those who ignore that our tourism workers were disrespected and deprived as they were refused redundancy payments cannot be trusted to have our best interests at heart. The lack of transparency around this deal and the urgency to get it signed regardless of the consequences suggests that either our party leader doesn't know what he's doing or he is so desperate to cling to power that he would gamble with all our futures for a public relations win. So at the end of the PLP internal election, Primo David Burt did defeat Dickinson by 97 to 56. Consequently, Deputy Wabane defeated MP Ming 96 to 55. And at the end of the internal election day, all the media was there to wrap up the event. Now, while all the media was there, Trevor Lindsay of TNN, who has actually been covering this internal election from the very beginning of it, was there in attendance as well. And he was live on his platform wrapping up the event. And while he was there, MP Chris Famous had some very rude words to say to him. We have made a statement coming from the Progressive Labour Party government. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> and we're live. Say it again. On October 21st, I asked you guys, how did you feel about the internal election and the outcome? I also asked you guys if you guys had any advice that you'd like to give to Premier David Burt as he continues his role as Premier of Bermuda. There was a great deal of feedback and obviously a lot of people still believe that MP Dickinson should have won the election. On that same day, a WhatsApp message had been floating around stating that there was going to be a protest against the actual outcome of the internal election. I noticed that MP Dickinson's 15 minute video that he had uploaded was removed from YouTube. And on Sunday, October 23rd, uh, the PLP put out a press statement stating that both Premier David Burt and MP Dickinson do not agree to the fact that people are trying to hold a protest this Friday. They said, and I quote, the rumored protest scheduled for this Friday in opposition to our internal leadership election results is misguided and misdirected and will not serve to change the outcome. Everyone has a right to prefer one candidate over another. That is the beauty of democracy. But should the results not end in favor of your preferred candidate, it can be dangerous and divisive to undermine the democratic process through which a leader or representative is elected. And that is everything you need to know up to date right now about the PLP internal election.